Hey friends, Ash here with GenSense. How's it going? Hope that you're doing well. It's review time. Today we're taking a look at Gentleman Eau de Parfum Reserve Privé. Because the Eau de Parfum Reserve wasn't good enough. Eau de Parfum Privé wasn't good enough. But Reserve Privé, perfect. I'm gonna show you guys the presentation, break this one down for you, let you know what I think about it and all that good stuff. So let's jump into it and check this one out. Shall we get the presentation done? We shall. Here we've got a look at the front of the box. You've got the name of the house, name of the fragrance, your size and concentration all right there. You have the logo of the house up top. On the back, a little bit of information. And on the bottom, you'll find your ingredients, your batch code, and your barcode. Batch code here is 2A01. And here's a good look at the bottle. Again, name of the house and name of the fragrance right there on front. Love the gradient, a little darker up top. And then toward the bottom, you get that uh, woody, ambery coloration, a little bit reminiscent of whiskey. On top of the cap, logo of the house, as well as on the back of the bottle. On the bottom, you'll find your batch code and the cap does click into place. Let me blast out a couple sprays for you guys here. Nice. So this is one of the fragrances that I was looking forward to most that's been announced so far this year anyway. Who knows what the rest of the year has to offer, but this was one of the ones I was looking forward to. And I got to tell you guys, it has not let me down so far. Now, to be fair, the Gentleman line is one of my favorite current lines that's out there. I love it. I love iris and fragrances in general, and I think that the way that it's done is great across pretty much the whole line. Yeah, Gentleman Cologne, dig that. Eau de Parfum, of course. Eau de Toilette Intense, yep. Eau de Parfum Boise, yep. So for me to not like this one, they would have to completely screw the whole thing up. They would just have to make it a, a complete abomination. And thankfully, they've not done that. Now, the big deal with this fragrance is probably that whiskey absolute. So they have it as an official top note and they put that it's whiskey absolute from Scotland. Oh, nice. Gotta love that with fragrances where they throw in the origination of the note or accord. It makes it classier, makes it higher end. It's not just a whiskey absolute. No, no, it's from Scotland. And on top of that, the iris or the orris that they have in the mid of the fragrance. Yeah, that's both Italian and Chinese Oris. Oh. So anyway, that whiskey is what most people were probably drawn to when they saw the note breakdown here, but you also have chestnut in the mid. And chestnut, as I've spoken about a number of times, is really in right now. Chestnut, hazelnut, caramel, toffee. Yeah, those are popular. So it seemed like this perfect mix of ingredients in here to really have a hit. And when you first spray this on, you do get a little bit of that whiskey and it's gonna stay there, it's gonna linger, but the whiskey is not maybe actually as prominent as you might expect. If you're going into this expecting some sort of pure malt meets Gentleman Eau de Parfum, you'll be disappointed. It doesn't have that much of a booziness to it. It's definitely there, it's a nuance, it supports the whole fragrance, it does lend a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of warmth, but it's not really aggressive, it's not in your face and the sweetness is reined in. You know, this isn't really like a sticky, sweet, boozy type of scent. And the chestnut, a little bit like the whiskey. You can pick it up, it's there. You can definitely feel its effect throughout the scent, but it's not really aggressive, not super loud. But the combination smells really good. The iris in there is going to remind you, of course, of the other fragrances in the Gentleman line. Gentleman Eau de Parfum, most specifically, maybe Gentleman Eau de Parfum Boise a bit as well. Little touch of powder in here, but not heavy handed, not overloaded. So I appreciate that. Bit of woodiness in here as it dries down as well. Actually, I'd say the woodiness is going to be one of the, the big changes here from the Eau de Parfum that cedar vetiver patchouli in the base, you can definitely pick that up as it stays on your skin and dries down as compared to the Eau de Parfum. Ultimately, this is a tweak, you could say. You know, it's not a, a massive departure from Gentleman Eau de Parfum, but I also don't think it's really redundant. Now, some people will. If you're the type of person that wants all your fragrances in a line or just all your fragrances that you own in general to be quite different from one another, then you might find this redundant if you already own Gentleman Eau de Parfum or Gentleman Eau de Parfum Boise. But for me personally, I don't think it is. Do I wish maybe that the whiskey was amped up a little bit or that the chestnut was more noticeable? Yeah, maybe. I'd like to see how that turned out, but the way this one smells is fantastic as is. 
And sometimes when you go in there overdosing one note or one accord to really make it shine and stand up above everything else, it ruins the whole composition. So it's possible that if the booziness here was amped up and it was sweeter and it was more in your face, that it would screw the whole thing up. And that's completely possible. I know it because I have asked for modifications on fragrances I was working on in the past to really amp up the booziness. And when I got those in, I thought, wow, that's just ruined the whole thing. Dang. As the fragrance sits right now, I think it smells great. Really, really, really like it. I've been wearing it a lot here lately, actually. I've talked about this a little bit in some of the more recent videos, but uh, the temperature is kind of yo-yoing right now. It'll be 80 plus degrees one day, then it'll get down to like 30 degrees that evening. So you'll have like a 40 to 50 degree Fahrenheit, obviously, swing in temperature over the course of 24 hours. And when it's been cool and chilly out, I've been wearing this. <laughs> I really like it, man. This stuff is great. Again, I'm a big fan of the line. I'm a sucker for the line, but this has grown on me more and more. First impressions, I dug it, but now I like it so much more. Let's talk about that performance real quick, longevity, projection, all that good stuff. So longevity, you're looking at about seven to eight hours off skin. Really nice, that's well above average. You would expect that though, because this is more of a, a cool weather fragrance, you know, fall, winter time more of an evening scent, but I think you can wear it during the day just as easily. So that performance you would expect, that longevity you would expect. And projection above average as well. Not crazy heavy. It's good initially, you know, first, what, hour, maybe hour and a half, you stretch it a little bit, it's good. And it sits a little bit closer, but overall above average. Now in the hierarchy of gentle man fragrances, where does this one rank? Well, it's kind of difficult. Because it's newer, obviously, I'm reaching for this one over Gentleman Eau de Parfum. Long term, will I wear this more than Gentleman Eau de Parfum? Can't say. Eau de Toilette Intense, I think, is used for different situations than this. Eau de Parfum Boise maybe overlaps with this a bit. On the whole, though, I think as far as direct competitors in the line, this one and the Eau de Parfum are, are competing the most. So I'm not ready to crown this, you know, the, the pinnacle of the line right now or anything like that. But sitting here today, I can tell you without a doubt that come this fall and this winter, I will wear this Eau de Parfum Reserve Privé more than Eau de Parfum. That said, Gentleman Eau de Parfum obviously is still awesome. That's not a shot at that fragrance. It's great. It's just, I love this one and it's newer. So it's, it's kind of what I'm reaching for. So overall, I would tell you guys, if you're a big fan of the line, if you collect the line, you got to have it. You have to have it. It is an awesome release. At first, you might think, oh, it's really too close. It's too redundant. But if you wear it side by side with Gentleman Eau de Parfum, they do have some obvious differences, especially that additional woodiness that you're going to get here. That little touch of booze and chestnut really amps things up, gives it a, a little extra flair. I said this before, but it bears repeating, especially within lines of fragrances. If you don't like ones that overlap a bit, then you probably are not going to dig this one if you already own the Eau de Parfum or the uh, Eau de Parfum Boise. But as long as that's not a problem, you got to check this out. It's probably going to be one of the best releases of the year. Through the first quarter of the year, it's my favorite designer release. So this right now for 2022 is sitting atop my little designer mountain of releases. But who knows, like I said, what we have to come could get knocked down a peg or two. But as of right now, great release. You crushed it. Gentlemen, Eau de Parfum Reserve Privé. Nice stuff. And for what it's worth, like I said, I've been giving this some good wear here lately. Had my wife check it out and she gives it her seal of approval also. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Thank you for hanging with me today as I run through Gentlemen Reserve Privé really quickly. Gentlemen, Eau de Parfum Reserve Privé. Jeez, what is next? Gentlemen, Parfum Reserve Privé Absolute. Because you got to just amp it up further and further. You just got to keep going, keep pushing. All right, guys, thank you for hanging with me. Thank you for your support. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.